Hi guys, welcome to Gay Art App Class. Okay, so I think we're gonna talk about the work of art in the age of mechanical reproduction. Ano uh, yun? Can someone tell us? Ano ko? So basically, di ba yung mechanical reproduction, yung pag-reproduce ng mga artworks yeah. gamit ng mga uh -huh. machines, nasa name na siya itself. So. Ito lang yung artworks sa coins, yung parang siya nire-reproduce. Yeah. Yung mga uh, drawings sa coins, tas parang ano. Yan, yun yung pagkaka-intendi ko so far sa mechanical reproduction. Ano, ano? Bakit? Bah hey, Shrano is a reset. Ah... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ah, si 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 ako ay alam do sa article niya. Um, Wait, I need to check my notes. Nandito ako. Okay. Like, uh, Hi, Miss Henry Guys, panyal like po. Said, uh, it's like about the mass production of things and how art could possibly also be mass produced. Because and how that affects the value of art. So, kapag kapag mass produced <laughs> Kapag mass produced ba ang art na wala siya ng value or hindi naman? Depends on how you look at it. By Agnes Gabi Lopez. Go on, Agnes. Wait, paano ba? Wait. Sa ano, according to sa case na parang ganito, yung The Snow Shovel. Oo. Maaari siyang... Pasok ka doon. Maaari siyang parang Snow Shovel na ginawa ng pabrika. Pero pwede parang siyang maging art dahil sa siguro sentimental value. Uh, oh, pero pero we're talking about the value uh, or bababa ba yung value niya if mass reproduce. Maaring hindi. Why? Bakit maaring hindi? <laughs> Kasi, kayo. if we go by the essentialism, kung nandun pa rin yung tatlong, ay, yung tatlong uh, aspects na yun, yung maaaring pa rin siyang art. Mm. So, ayon dito, the uniqueness of a work of art is inseparable from its being embedded in the fabric of tradition. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Hindi ko alam. <laughs> ano ibig sabihin nun? Sorry. Huh? Perfect. The uniqueness of a work of art is inseparable from its being embedded in the fabric of tradition. Um, can you repeat that one more time? The uniqueness of a, uh, of a work of art is inseparable from its being embedded in the fabric of tradition. Ah, I think I get this. Because just because an art is like not done with traditional methods or or like, you know, if it's not like an oil painting, just because it isn't an oil painting doesn't mean it's any less unique or valuable or, or, uh, or something like that. <laughs> By twice. <laughs> By twice. Wala ko maisip. Oh my god. So, sino gusto mag sino gusto mag ano mag discuss naman ng mga nalaman nila bago tayo you know, masabaw. Bago bigyan ang mundo. Pat <laughs> at tahimik tayo. Yeah, ano? There's Jed. Oh, Hi, let's welcome. Sorry, let's see. Let's welcome Jed. Oh. Yeah, let's welcome our new members. Jed, would you like to share something about mechanical reproduction? Yeah, I would like to share something about mechanical reproduction. Um, Jed, would you like to share something about mechanical reproduction? Um, very hard thing. <laughs> Why? I, I saw na and dami mong kinitik sa mga sinabi niya. Can you share some? Paso, paso. What is this? Kailangan siya for a video discussion. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. So stand by as Jed ano fix his shit. Chop that. Nagmuro pala ako. Me sorry po, hindi ko po sa Jaya. Alisin mo tayo, okay na din. Ayaw nga. So nag nagbabasa-basa kasi ako dito. In photography exhibition value begins to display scope value along the line. Parang 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 pinaput into bad light niya yung photography like di ako portrait back picture ka. Ah, hindi naman po, kahit picture mo yung isang 
isang isang isang isang isang bagay it makes it less of an art. It's just a way of seeing it again. <laughs> Choke lang. What? Ano yung sinabi ko? Hindi ko alam eh. Wait lang. May standby lang po. Uh, ano, si Jed po kasi... Technical difficulties. Uh, League of Legends is a perfect example of mechanical reproduction. Oh! Talaga? Oh! Talaga? Yes, yes. As a free-to-play free game, it is available with all set. Everyone with a computer. Even if your computer is absolutely terrible. Yeah, and it doesn't make it less of... Oh, actually, we can talk about an ah, yes, the... game. Yes, since we are game art students, the yeah. example of video games applies here perfectly. Yes, because yeah. it is ano, eh, all over computers and consoles and whatnot. Yes, since video games are mass produced, but people, does might it... think they're, people might think they're not valid art, but given that they have plenty of work put into them by many different people and who all come together to make the best virtual experience that you can have, is it really fair to not consider it as a form of art just because it is mass produced and made for the public? Yes. Yes. See, even if it's mass produced kasi, that implies na mayroong template na pinaggagayahan. Art pa rin naman, di ba, yung paggawa ng template? Hindi naman basta-basta gagawin yon. If you have to make something that looks the same every time, the yeah, yung template ng pagtatrabahuhan mo pa rin yun. Yun yung pwede parang maging art. So in every piece that looks the same, it's meant to look like that by some artist. So, Still, yeah. Kita ba si Kyle? Kyle, mapakita ka. No, he's seen. He's just blocked by the record button. Ah, okay. Francis yun. Oo, oh, si Francis yun. Oh. Um, Hindi kita si Kyle. Sige, pasok ka lang, Francis. Alright, sige. Ayan. Not everyone be seen. Ayan po si Kyle. Okay. Asan si Jed? Jed, share mo naman yung critique mo sa article. Ayan. So, nung tinare ko sa inyo yung article ni Walter Benjamin, tinare kong i... What do you call it? I, I just tried to analyze each and every sentence, uh -huh. and I'm trying to dissect it, though it's very difficult. Um, basically, um, so at the start of the paper, Benjamin says, mm. um, what, I'm, what I'm about to tell you is good for making revolutionary demands in the politics of art, but you can't use it for fascism. So I'm not really sure why he said that, but that's very, very interesting. <clears throat> yeah. So he starts off by talking about mechanical reproduction, then he gives us a brief. Do you find your mechanical reproduction in the article? What? Sorry? Do you find your mechanical reproduction in the article? Yes. Ah, yeah, uh oh. Um, he said, ah. here he says, uh, mechanical reproduction of a work of art, however, represents something new. Uh, historically, it advanced intermittently and it leaps at long intervals, but with accelerated intensity. So that's how most of the sentences here are like. Well, so, I'm pretentious. <laughs> yeah, it's actually kind of pretentious. I. Ah, um, um, basically, his main concept yeah. is that art oh, is reproducible. Oh. So he he used first he so he he this he discussed. Um, first, he started with man-made artifacts, so like the cavemen, they made stuff. Then these stuff had replicas. So so people made replicas for different reasons and he, he went in, in depth into it, like practical pupils, advertisement for their masters or sold for gains. And then after that, in the Greek age there was founding and stamping and then after that was woodcut and after that in the Middle Ages, woodcut and engraving and etching and then lithography and then photography and then sound film. All of that in three pages in, in varying levels of detail, so it's, it, it's kind of, yeah. It's, it's cool, I guess. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Castle. Yeah. You would roll over <laughs> So, oh yeah, um, so in part, in Roman uh, World 2, see, what's his name again? See, Walter Benjamin, Benjamin he, uh, he discusses even the most perfect reproduction of a work of art uh, is lacking in one element. It, its presence in time and space, its unique existence at the place where it happens to be. What? Basically, he means to say that every atom is unique. 
or in the, in the entire paragraph of him discussing, it essentially means no two artworks are exactly the same. Even if you make a copy of something, the original is still there. Oh. So like if you photocopy something, the original still belongs to the original. The original. Maganda nga ang point niya. Yeah, that makes sense. Like mm-hmm. for example, you you can play Paganini's 24th Caprice, but are you actually Paganini playing it in Old Italy? <laughs> That's true. Uh, Paganini. Oh. Pa- Paganini. 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 <laughs> No, he's a violinist. He's a really, 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 right, yeah. he's a really prodigious violinist, and then he was known for like making making really difficult pieces. And then here's a fun fact: Paganini's 24th Caprice, considered one of the hardest violin pieces to play, was a warm up. It was a warm up made for his students. Imagine his students needing to play that, and then it's just. <laughs> I mean, there's that violin. If you watch it. Oh, yeah, I watched that. I'm mm-hmm. yeah, super close, cool, super close. Cool. Do you practice more than the hours a day? No. Nope. Hindi. 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 Well, um, in that case, I've actually only read the first nine pages. Oh. So, yeah, just, just being very, very honest. So, ayo. Tapos, in here, I think parang yung general gist talaga ni, ni Walter Benjamin about the work of art and the age of the Cat Hair production is that dapat, we still maintain the original because it's a prerequisite to the sub concept of authenticity. Ah. Uh-huh. Gets niya ba? Yes. This, yeah. This, yeah. So, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. So, asa tayo. So, um, the reason we are reading this is is because yes, this article. Wait, it was published in it was published in 1935. Oh, Luma. Reproduction. It was published in 1935, but it becomes more and more like you know relevant in our daily context when. Everything can be factory reproduced. Ah, yes, that's. Ah, yes, and it was also, and all the pop shots and fashions and were because it was around the start of World War Two. But now World War Two is done, and. I'm not sure. And right now we. And right now, like. And right now, the bubulongan. Ah, wait, lang po. The bubulongan po kami. And also at that time, the industrial revolution, like it was around the time when that was when that was like um, still kind of fresh. Like it started in the late late eighteen hundreds to the early nineteen hundreds, and in nineteen thirty five, that's not really far off from when most other countries were having their industrial revolutions. But right now, like with technology, everything can be mass produced. So this question becomes more relevant than ever: Is art less valuable just because it's mass produced? No. Of course uh, not. <laughs> I see. Okay, you can go on Actually, I have a question. Since we're just passing by now, is it okay to be positive? Or because I'd like just like to catch up with a few things. Oh, see. Okay. Then they wag wag na wag na yung catch up. Joke lang siya. Then wag na ipost yung video. Then ipost. Oh, oh, my God. 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 O